what's up guys what's up on Shugo channel it's down here to give you my Arsenal season ratings in this video I'm going to be rating every single Arsenal player um, who's actually played this season so without further ado let's get right so as I said guys um, the season's finally over a uh, dreadful season and there's not going to be many higher ratings so I've written all the ratings down here in my school planner and yeah I'm going to basically um, give them what is my opinion um, who I think has been our player of the season as well and who I, and who there's not gonna be many high ones let me just put, put that out there there's, there's gonna be qu quite a few low ones um before we do start who who loves the new background by the way massive shout out to um even football talk for making me this make sure everyone goes subscribe to him i'll put his link in the description um but yeah he, he actually made this for me and um big up to him because it's really good um but anyway guys let's get right into it then um so sign off with the goalkeepers burn leno and I've given him a 6 out of 10. Um, now, he started the season really, really well. I remember in the Carabao Cup, he made, you know, he, he, he got a good run of games. In the next Liverpool, he made like, a really good save in the Carabao Cup um, last 16. We beat him on penalties in the end. And I thought at, at the start of the season, he started really well. And there's not many. Um, obviously, I was sad that we, we, we saw Emilio Martinez. Um, to Aston Villa, but I was happy that Leno would be number one because he had a really good season um, lot, um, this, two years ago when we won the FA Cup. So I was happy that going into the, going into the, you know the new season that he was going to be our number one. I was fine with it. Um, then after Christmas, it sort of like went downhill a little bit. He, he made that terrible mistake against Wolves, where he came out and got sent off. There's no excuse for that. Stupid. That ever mistake as well. Just. Yeah, and then there's his distribution turns up to, you know, so poor. His distribution, he's passing it out. It's giving me heart attacks and everything. So, yeah, Burn Leno for me will get a six out of ten because I thought the start of the season he done really well. Second half he just was a bit of a liability, but I do think he will. I, I, I'm happy with him as number one at the moment. But if it's the same as you know going into this new season, um, as he did on the back of last season. I still can't believe it's last season now. It feels weird saying last season because it feels like we're still in this season. It just it's a bit weird, but anyway, yeah. Um, last season, if he was does the same, then maybe we should get a new goalkeeper. But for now, he's gonna get six out of ten. Uh, moving on to the keeper who we signed from Brighton on loan uh, in January, Matt Ryan, who only played three games, and I'm gonna give him a five out of ten. Uh, quite average, but I think in the games he did play, I thought I thought he, I thought he's class. I do think he's a really good goalkeeper and he's a really good backup for Burn Leno. And I do think we um, should keep him for sure because the games I've watched him, the uh, Aston Villa one, I thought he done really well. And yeah, I think he's a really good goalkeeper. So for me, he's going to get a 5 out of 10. Probably quite, um, it, it would have been quite harsh to know if I gave them the, both the same score because the keepers only played three games. Uh, Alex Renison. Uh, he's he's lucky he gets his score as well. He's getting a free, absolutely horrendous, horrendous season. I kind of do feel bad for him in, in a way because we know he's not good enough. You know, um, he started the season off playing in Europa League. He looked very shaky even in a team against teams like Mould and Dundalk and Rabobank Vienna. No disrespect to them teams, but he looked very shaky in, even in the Europa League games, and people were sort of questioning him, questioning him, him a lot. And then uh, I guess he's now in the coffin was uh, against Man City in the Carabao Cup. That that mistake, you know, from a free kick, and yeah, it ultimately knocked us out of the quarterfinals of the Carabao Cup against City. We we ended up losing four one that game, and it just wasn't. He, yeah, he he was just since then never to be seen, never to be seen again. And I do think he's going to probably get sold. I do feel bad for him in a way because like he's made a mistake and keepers can come back from mistakes, but yeah, just I don't think he's one for Arsenal. But anyway, moving on to the defence then. Let's move on to the defence. So moving on to the defence, we're gonna uh, kick things off with the full backs. Um, Hector Bellerin, he's lucky he gets a score as well. Four out of ten. Is that too generous? Probably. Uh, only reason why he gets four because he's because he scored a goal against um, Leeds for me beating them four two. 
Oh, the only reason why, I mean, he has been absolutely dreadful. You can go back to Barcelona, B team, mate. You go back to PSG, wherever you want to go. Just get out of Arsenal Football Club. Go and plant trees somewhere else. You ain't good enough for this football club. End of story, you guys. Yeah, and people say, oh, he's been here for so long. We, we, we can't sell him because he come through as a youngster. At the end of the day, he's, he's just not good enough. You can go go on to oh, You know, on to your dad, you can go with him. Go back to Cidas or wherever in Spain. Because at the end of the day, he's not good enough for Arsenal Football Club. He just not, he, he ain't, is he? He's just like, oh, yeah, for 4 out of 10, shocking season. Every, every time I watch him, I'm like, how how do you even get into the starting 11? I'll tell you why, because obviously it's Arteta's son and he's got to put him in there. But, yeah, moving on to the centre-backs, Gabriel Magalas, 8 out of 10. Probably one of our best defenders this season. Uh, signing from Lille and rated very highly. And start of the season, he scores on, on the opening game against Fulham. Um, scored against Wolves when, when, when we lost 2-1 at the Emirates Scored against Lebiarcos He's got more goals than Willian by the way Yeah, three goals more than Willian So I think he's been class There's been a few times shaky moments in there That Southampton game for example In the FA Cup when he made that mistake um, But no, I, th I think he's been really good And I'm so excited to see him hit Hopefully uh, Saliba and him next to each other next season Because I think they'll be a really good partnership Alongside him, David Luiz, 8 out of 10 as well. I think them two have been our two best centre backs for sure um, this season. And Luiz is going. And that's saying something if Luiz has been our best defender. That's literally saying something. And he, and he is going to be leaving at the end of the season. But I think they're both, they've both been really solid. I think Luiz has actually decided to calm down a little bit after his first season with us turning into an absolute clown against Manchester City. I still can't remember. I still I ain't going to forget that. But. No, um, he's probably experienced a lot this season, Louise, and I think both of them will get 8 out of 10s. Uh, Rob Holden, 5 out of 10, average, just ban average, yeah, ban average. Dancing with Jack Grealish at the start of the season when we lost 3-0. There's times where he's been an absolute liability, and there's times where he's putting a half-decent performance, so ban average for Rob Holden. He's not good enough, sell him. There's a reason why he comes from Bolton, because he's shit, so we've got to sell him, move on, and Holden will get a 5 out of 10. Uh, Callum Chambers, he surprised me a lot. He, he is surprised. I'm going to give him 7 out of 10. I think he's been absolutely superb. Playing him right back as well. And he surprised me a lot. I didn't think he would generally be this good. I thought he was just... I, I thought, why, why why is he in the squad? But he's 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 actually very decent. And yeah, I think he's had a really good season. Um, and as I said, guys, he's not good enough for Arsenal in the future. But for now, he's fine. So, 7 out of 10 for Callum Chambers. Cedric Suarez, 7 out of 10. Again... Start of the season done really well. Second half, where was he? He just got dropped. He just got dropped, and we haven't seen him since. So, Cedric, I do like Cedric. You know, he's quite experienced. He's got, he's won Portugal. Um, he, he's part of the winning squad for the Euros in 2016. He's won the Nations League with Portugal as well. So he's quite experienced, and um, I'm going to give him a seven out of ten as well. Uh, Pablo Mari, seven out of ten as well. I'm giving all sevens, but yeah, I think Mary's seven. There's times uh, when I've seen him and I thought he's class. I, th I, th I think he's good next to Gabriel. Um, I say that we've never seen him play before, have we? You can't play two left foot um, centre back centre not Gabriel. Uh, I, I like him when he plays alongside um, Holding, but yeah, I mean, I haven't really seen enough of him. I think I would like, like to see more next season, so. He'll get a 7 out of 10. Uh, moving on to the final defender. And that is Kylian Dini. My left at my captain. 9 out of 10. Simple as that. He's, he's up there for player of the season. And it's a shame that he got injured. Because I think he would have got player of the season. If he didn't get injured in the end. Because that's the thing that lets him down. Is he, he, He's quite injury. You know, he, he's quite injury prone. He, he got an injury against West Ham. Uh, he's out for about 6 months or something. For, was it 4 months? I can't remember. And he's got one now. He's out again for 4 months. And yeah... But no, he was superb. What a season for Kieran Tierney, and I can't wait to see him next season. He's my left back. I'm go I've got him on the back of my shirts and everything. What a player. Um, 9 out of 10. So, guys, moving on to the midfield now. So, guys, Granite Xhaka. Um, play the sometimes maybe good, sometimes maybe shite. That, that, that's been his season. At the end of the day, with Granite Xhaka, yeah, he ain't good enough one bit. Just leave, mate. Just leave or sell him. Do one thing or the other, because he's cost us against Burnley when he got sent off. Yeah, I, when he decided to grab, you know, I don't know, I forgot who the player was. Was it Westwood by the throat and 
got it. And then he made a stupid mistake and it's Burnley when he just hit it across easy. Was it Burnley? I think it was Burnley when he just hit it across the own got it. You know, he's own box and then, you know, he's just he's an absolute liability. But, yeah, to be fair, I mean, there is games where he has performed well. Chelsea, for example. But, yeah, average. Six out of ten for me. Uh, moving on to Mauro Nani, ban average, five out of ten. He's got some absolute banners to, to be fair to be fair to him. Uh, Olympiacos, Fulham, but for um, but yeah, but for me, nah, I'm just not just sideways backwards and just boring. But I guess he's just a limited footballer. So yeah, El Nani will get a five out of ten. Part A, quite interesting one. It's his first season. <coughs> He's suffered with quite a few injuries. He struggled a lot with injuries. I mean, you got Arteta pushing him back on the pitch against Spurs when he was injured. He's he's performed in some really good games, but I'm gonna give him a seven for his first season. Um, I'm sure he needs a partner next to him, like a Pesuma, Um because Granit Xhaka's not helping. El Nenny's not helping. And moving on to my next player, Danny Spiles, and he's so generous to get a three out of ten. He actually is so generous to get a 3 out of 10. I mean, what even is he? Go, go back to Madrid, mate. He's not put one good performance in this season. Not even one. But no, guys, like I said, Spice can go back to Madrid, mate. He's just not good enough, is he? I mean, this season, he, he, he's not... But he's, I can't even think of one game he's actually done well. But, nah, just liability. He's cost us in the Europa League as well. Um, I keep saying liability, don't I? Uh, no, he, he, but this is a thing with all our players. Half of them are liabilities. Um, but no, he's cost us in three Europa League games. Benfica, Olympiacos, and I think there was another one as well. But yeah, he just shoot. He's so annoying, so frustrating to watch him because he he does all these, you know, he fidget spins around. Like he's a fidget spinner, and then he just loses it. And it's so frustrating. But no, go back to Real Madrid. Emma Smith Rowe. It was so close between him and Saka for play, player of the season. I think I will be giving it to Bakayoko Saka, but Smith Rowe, no, no, it's an absolute superb. Since he's coming, we changed, we changed massively. We we started creating a lot more. Um, and it just goes to show, and by the way, Arteta did not promote Smith Rowe. Arteta never promoted Smith Rowe. Una Emery promoted Smith Rowe before anyone starts, you know, commenting and saying, oh, well, that's Arteta's player. It's not. Yeah, it's uh, Emery's player. E Emery brought in Saka, Smith Rowe, Tierney, and all that. So, yeah, but no, guys, Smith Rowe's been absolutely his class. 9 out of 10. I can't wait to see him next season. He better sign a new contract as well. Um, moving on to Martin Odegaard. He scored two goals, Olympiacos, and a good goal against Spurs. Um, I don't think we're going to sign him, so we might as well loan him again um, for another year to see him as a full season. Doesn't work out, go back to Madrid, mate. But there's a few games where I just look at him and think, what are you doing? But mostly you're good, so six, I'm going to give him 6 out of 10. For um, He's only here for a short period of time as well. Uh, uh, Obama, Blood Clark, Jan! 4 out of 10, and that's lucky he gets 4 out of 10 because he somehow picked up 10 goals this season. Um, I think the majority of them are in the Europa League, um, but yeah, just not the season for him at all. The worst season in his career, and one to forget for sure. This time last season, he was winning the Golden Boot. Um, he was uh, drunk with Mane and Salah, and yeah, nowhere near it this season. And I hope next season, which I do think definitely next season, he will get back to Aubameyang. We we all know and love. Um, about my blood clot, yeah. But anyway, moving on to Willian. Willian, Willian, Willian. He's so lucky that he doesn't get a zero. He's going to get a three because he scored. I'm too generous. I'm actually too generous. And he somehow picked four assists stop. Um, or five, I can't remember. But yeah. Oh, he picked up three assists against Fulham. Um, no, he didn't. He picked up like two. But anyway, yeah, Willian, Willian, Willian. He's gonna get um, go back to West London, mate. And if you haven't seen my transfer video already, go check that out. Um, he better go back there. Um, yeah, three out of ten, absolutely dreadful. Uh, lack of blood clot Z. He's gonna get an eight out of ten. I thought, I thought, I think he's actually on a decent season. Uh, to be honest with him, and it's a shame that he got dropped when he scores because that's what all his manager does. Against um, score three games in a row, you dropped. You know, scores again, you dropped. So, yeah, I think Lacazette's done well. I think it is his last season as well, so good luck to him. But, uh, Nicola Pepe, yes, 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 yes. Um, nine, nine out of ten, absolutely class. What a player. Um, yeah, that's what I can say. I mean, you know, Pepe, 72 million. He's, he, he's overpriced, we all know this, but he's just, he, he's a class player. So, I can't wait to see him next season as well. 
Um, <clears throat> moving on then to uh, the final four players. So let's go through the last four players in Bukayo Saka, my player of the season, and he's going to get a 9 out of 10, obviously. Um, no one's going to get 10 out of 10, by the way, but yeah, what a, what a player, what a season. He's just, every time I watch him, he's just class, you know, his skills, his movement, and everything. You know, he, he scores the goals a few couple of times as well. Um, he hasn't actually scored many goals this season. I think he's scored about six or something, but he's still a quality, quality player, and definitely next season. And he's in, he's, he's in the England squad as well for the Euros, so. Yeah, 9 out of 10 for Bukayo Saka. Reese Nelson, 5. I've barely seen him, but he's getting a 5 because he's done super in, 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 you know, in the Euro, um, Europa League. So, um, yeah, he's going to get a 5 out of 10 for me because I, I, what's happened to him? He's probably going to get stolen now. He's part of the dead wood because, you know, he's... Um, he's uh, We don't know what's going on with him. Alien and Katie are 5 out of 10. What's he done all season apart from scoring the Europa League? That's the only, way, the only reason why he's getting a 5 out of 10. Uh, Martinelli, 6 out of 10, I can't really give him more than 6 because he's barely played. You know, he's come back from an injury and Arteta, you know, decides, you know what, I'm going to play into the walls at the end of the season. He has scored as well. But yeah, 6 out of 10. So, thank you guys so much, so much for watching my season ratings. Let me know what you think down below. Um, I will be doing a keep or sell uh, one of these as well, uh, including the loan players that have come back from loan. So, thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to smash that button, subscribe if you're new. I'll see you guys in the next one.